guest host. And my guest right now is Tommy Bruno. Tommy is a classmate from high school. He's also a sculptor, one of the, uh, his work is phenomenal. And uh, just coming back and reconnecting with Tommy and seeing his career and all the work that he's done and his passion for his art, um, just amazing. Uh, Tommy, welcome to the show. Thank you, Charlie, thank you for having me. Sure, uh, Tommy, uh, you know, I started actually on our town's art committee. I was a photographer uh, and that's how I got politically started. So seeing you um, and just in embracing the passion, I mean, I think our audience would love to hear uh, you articulate how the, the monuments that we're seeing being removed, uh, it's really about the art. I mean, you think about these sculptures and uh, Alexander Doyle and some of the greats that, that created these pieces, it, it, you know, the, the ceiling of the people, how sad they are when they drive around and just see an empty pedestal. What is it like for you as an artist to see, like, uh, you know, I'm thinking it's almost like seeing the Mona Lisa removed from a museum, what, what we're doing here. It's unbelievable. Like they're over 100 it's years old. It's, it's, it's unbelievable because the thing is, the United States is a very young country. We, we, we struggled to establish an art tradition in our country. Uh, we had to send artists abroad, study in Paris and Italy, bring these people back here, and we, we, uh, we invested a tremendous amount of effort at the turn of the century, especially uh, Civil War veterans were getting old, and uh, they wanted to remember. They wanted the folks to remember their sacrifice. And, and Tommy, that was actually before the, the first World's Fair in New Orleans. I mean, so that actually was a... Oh, 1884, I think it was? Yes. It, it, it. Not a mention. What exasperation? Here I am in the room. I'm dedicating my entire life to this stuff. And it doesn't even matter. You know, it, it, no one cares. It, it, Tommy, you explained to me, like, just the detail how a little change here and there creates a whole different meaning for the person who's looking at the art. Like Lee's oh, toe, or, you know, the, his. Yeah. yeah. So, so these guys.
Tommy, are there, you know, we obviously have a lot of universities in town, a lot of museums. Do we have a lot of artists that, that would be, that are, are losing out by not being able to see a Lee or, or even the tourists, people that would come here from other places that are artists to, to take in, and take in the artwork of New Orleans to teach them and-, and Charles, Charles, when you go to a city, what's the first thing you look for? The art. You look for the art, exactly. <laughs> no. you look for the art, you look for the sculpture, you look for, you, you want to taste Yes, like one or two, you're right. Absolutely. The comparable, the comparable example would be tearing down the cabildo. Somebody said Tommy was like taking the, the lung, the heart, and the kidneys out of a World Heritage site. Uh, There's a gentleman named Charles Lincoln. And I know you're working on a project to make some uh, smaller versions of these and you've been doing a great job with that uh, we've been a lot of that's on our YouTube channel which is Save Nola Heritage we're getting up against the break here 